It's so peaceful. This city is now under the protection of the Frontier Militia. Join us, or die in chains! Can even God save us? Oh, God. Cut. The line is, will God save us? And try to give it a bit more emotion. You know, panic, anger, fear, stuff like that. Literally anything at this point, please. Yeah, okay. Actually, let's take five. Grab some coffee, get your head in the right place, and then we'll try it again. Hey, man. You doing okay? Yeah, I just... I don't, I don't know. I've got some shit going on at home, and it's hard to keep it off my mind, you know? I mean... Yeah, sure, man. That sucks. Anything I can help with, or or you want to get off your chest or something? Someone moved into my apartment with me a few months ago, but I, I think she's trying to leave already. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's rough. Was it, like, a serious thing before you guys moved in, or...? Not really. I mean, I'd seen her around a couple times, you know? Like, run into her at the grocery store, bump into each other while I'm out for a walk. You know I've been trying to walk more recently. Yeah, you said. Maybe see her around the gym sometimes. Random stuff. I think she may have just made it to the area or something. Because I've never seen her before and I feel like I'd remember. Man, she must be quite the looker or something. Seems like you fell in love right away. Oh yeah, no, she's really cute. She has jet black hair, except for a white streak above her right eye. An adorable chubby face. She has this amazingly elegant, graceful walk. Ugh. I don't know, man. It's just killing me she doesn't want to stay anymore, you know? She's perfect. Damn. How did you guys start hanging out? Well, I'd always see her hanging around other people, so I didn't think she'd be interested in me, you know? Mm-hmm. One day, though, on my way back from the store, I happened to bump into her on my block. She was sitting on the decorative wall outside that little green space next to my apartment. The one I told you about. They put up the... Yeah. Yeah, on the same block as my apartment building. And that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the new convenience store. She was sitting on that wall, just staring real intently into the grass. I walked over and just sat with her for a while. I think she was cold because she came and sat in my lap after a bit. That was nice. Oh, wow. Okay. I had some smoked salmon I bought at the store. So we just sat and... Shared that for a bit. Eventually, I built up the courage to ask if she wanted to come over to my place just up the block, and she followed me there. Ugh. And it was so nice to not be alone in my bed again. Gross. So she must, like, really like smoked salmon. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's her favorite. So anyway, that was, that was a few months ago. It seemed like everything was going well. She seemed happy to see me when I came home. But I've been away a lot with these propaganda shoots and all. Yeah, man. Talk about that, huh? Crazy how many of these we're doing. Like it's some sort it seemed of... Seemed like it was all okay, but it all right. must have been stressing her out. I don't know. I'd always come home and she'd be lying on the couch or looking out the window or something. But she'd always run over when I got home all excited and yelling. I guess she was probably just hungry or something, though. Okay. I just wish I could talk to her about it or something. It'll all be so much easier. Then just... talk to her? Right? I mean, can't you just... do that? What, talk to her? Sure. I talk to her all the time. I just wish she could talk back. Or, you know, at least I wish I could understand her. She certainly talks back. Oh, she can't speak English? Uh, no dude. Cats typically can't. What? It'd be pretty crazy if I had, like, the only cat that can speak human languages. What? I certainly wouldn't be acting in these stupid recruitment videos if I had talking cat money. What the fuck did you say to me? A cat? You're talking about a fucking cat? Yeah, man. 
What, you thought I got a person to move into my apartment with me? That'd be crazy. I thought you finally got a girlfriend or something. What? No. Well, I mean, yeah. I have a girlfriend. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She lives in the core, though. You wouldn't know her. I'm done. Done! I'm done with this dumb fucking conversation! I'm done with your fake girlfriend! I'm done with your salmon-loving cat everything! Uh, no, you shut the fuck up! Shut your goddamn mouth! If you say another word, I'll kill myself just so I don't have to hear it! Then I'll drag your shitty soul to hell with me so you can catch a small glimpse of how I suffered over the last few minutes! You got me?! I... Shut the fuck up! Hey, man. Hey. Sorry about yesterday. I thought I was being pretty clear, but I get there may have been some confusion early on with the whole cat thing. Um, uh, I'm sure you didn't really want all the details about my personal life when you asked if I was doing okay. I've just been holding it in, and once I started letting it all out, I couldn't stop, you know? Sure, but... I just wanted to say sorry. And thanks. Thank you for being there and listening. I know you weren't expecting that yesterday, but it helped me immensely, more than you'll probably ever know. Okay, okay, that, that's cool and all, and I'm, I'm sure he really appreciates the sentiment, but I'm new here. Oh, oh, what happened to... I guess he volunteered for active duty. He's probably on a cruiser bound for the frontier as we speak. They called last night to see if I could fill in. Oh. Yeah. So, uh... How'd you get into this acting stuff? Oh, I, I know the casting director. Zach Cooper. Oh, yeah? You know Zach? Yeah, we were roommates senior year in college. No shit! Zach and I were roommates freshman and sophomore year. Oh, really? That's crazy. Ha! <laughs> Small world. Yeah. Hey, well, let's get this filmed, huh? Feeling good about the script? I feel like the character has a lot of potential. Shopkeeper 2. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. By the way, um, why do you smell like smoked salmon?